New this morning, California is making strides in its efforts to stop drunk driving related deaths. Mothers Against Drunk Driving or MAD has just released its 2015 report to the nation, which ranks states on their prevention efforts. California received four out of five stars. KTRA 3's Kristen Samos joins us live to explain what the state still needs to improve on. Kristen? Good morning, Leticia. It was a fairly good report card for California. MAD gave the Golden State, as you said, four out of five stars when it comes to implementing proven countermeasures to reduce drunk driving, and California is well on its way to receiving that fifth star. Now, those countermeasures, stars rather, are given uh, for each of the five programs, one of which is sobriety checkpoints, which reduce drunk driving fatalities an estimated 20 percent. The second, license revocation, which is immediate confiscation of, a, of an offender's driver's license. Number three is child endangerment, which results in additional penalties for a DUI with a child in the car. Number four, no refusal events, which is a streamlined warrant process for those who refuse blood or breath tests. And number five, ignition interlock devices or IIDs. Those are the tools that require a convicted DUI offender to blow into a device before the car will start. This is said to be the best proven countermeasure, and this is the one where California falls short. The state actually launched an IID pilot program in four counties, including Sacramento in 2010. MAD says California won't receive that fifth star until that program becomes law, but we are one step closer. Senator Jerry Hill recently introduced a bill that would require IIDs for all convicted drunk drivers. It's already the law in 24 states and it's something MAD has long wanted in California as well. We're trying to get this to, to, to go nationwide and get all 50 states on board and California is, is uh, always ahead of the curve in traffic safety and this is, uh, California has, you know, uh, different and special needs compared to everybody else. We're a very large state so it's difficult to get uh, legislation like this passed uh, and the fact that it was passed even as a pilot is, is successful and we are um, very confident that it's going to go statewide and that's an even bigger step in, in the grand scheme of things. Now, this report comes out less than a week after Sacramento's first drunk driving death of the year. Three young adults were killed last weekend when a drunk driver struck them head on. Sadly, these won't be the last alcohol related deaths that we see this year. MAD said there has been a significant decrease in drunk driving accidents over the past 35 years that they've been around, and that is thanks in large part to states implementing these countermeasures. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News.